In today's video, I'm going to do something I've wanted to do since I bought this camper. I'm going to remove the stock lighting in this camper and replace it with lights that dim. So why did we decide to replace these light fixtures when we really could have just turned them off and on as needed when we wanted more or less light? Or wiring in a knob, like we've seen other folks do online, that dims all the lights at one time. Eventually it came down to personal preference. I prefer to have the lights dim around me in the evening when I'm reading. But I like to sit here at night and read, and I like a bright light, so I don't want them dimmed. So we like to be able to go ahead and change the lights individually. So we're going to go ahead and do a quick and easy swap out. So these are the lights that we're going to go ahead and swap out what's in here for these. Now first we want, do want to say thank you to Lee because he was the one that posted this link on Facebook originally and led us to these. But they come in a four pack. Um, they are 12 volt LED puck lights. Um, they look very similar to the ones that are already in here. So we went ahead and bought eight so we can go ahead and change out the ones in the main cabin. Now we did buy the cool white but they also are available in the warm white if you like that color better. Now stick around to the end because we also have a 99 cent solution to no light at the black tank. Because safety first, we turned off the overhead lights and then cut the power to the camper. First, we went ahead, twisted off the cover and took out the three screws. Then we made note of which colored wires went with the old fixture so we could go ahead and wire the new one the same. Now some of the lights had four wires, some had two. We just followed what was previously there. To disconnect the old, we took pliers to uncrimp the existing connection and then pulled the wires out. Then we did a quick inspection to make sure there was no damage to the wires before proceeding. To install the new, first we had to remove the cover from the fixture. Then we used the same type of connectors for the new ones that they had installed originally with the camper. Then we went ahead, twisted the wire from the new fixture to the wires in the camper ceiling, put the connectors on, and Troy used his crimping tool to tighten them down. Then we lightly tug on them just to make sure they're secure. Next, we turned the power back on, make sure everything was working. Then we carefully pushed everything back up into the ceiling and went ahead and reattached the light. Now the first screw went into an existing hole, but the other two we did need to make new holes. Just using a screwdriver though, worked fine. Reattach the faceplate and another light was complete. So overall, each light took about five minutes, so to do the whole camper took less than an hour. Now to operate, they're just push on and off, similar to the old ones, but to dim or brighten the lights, we just hold down the button. So that's it. Now as the year progresses, we'll give you any updates as far as how these lights perform over the long term. But right now, let's focus on one more thing, these little lights. All right, so here we have it, 99 cents from Harbor Freight. These little LED utility lights are very inexpensive and they're very versatile. They have a magnet on the back and they have a hook if I wanted to do them that way. The reason I buy these is I put them underneath the frame of my trailer where my black connection is. And if I ever have to dump the tanks or make a connection in the dark, I'm going to really be glad I had them. But I do have to remember, I don't think they travel very well. I think they'd probably fall off the frame, but at the worst case, I'd only be out 99 cents. So that's going to do it for us guys. Thanks for watching.